essentially every story, every narrative works the same. You have a setting, you have a tension created, the tension increases, the tension resolves, and then any loose ends are tied together. Those five elements are always there, uh, almost always there in a story. And so the setting, two men went up to the temple to pray. It's not particularly interesting. Uh, it's not gripping you. If that was a TV show, you'd change channels pretty quickly if they don't create some tension quickly. So Jesus creates the tension it, straight away. One was a Pharisee, one was a tax collector. Oh, now we've got tension. What's going to happen here? And then the tension increases because if he immediately resolved it, it wouldn't, you know, you go, what was that? And so within the space of, what, six verses, you go from the setting to the tension. The tension increases when you start listening to the two men praying and the Pharisees saying how wonderful he is and how he goes above and beyond what's required of him. And then the contrast to that, the, the tax collector and his sinfulness and just pounding on his breast, uh, just, you know, just uh, absolutely broken before God and asking for God, not just to show him mercy, but to, to make an atoning sacrifice, that kind of mercy for him. Uh, and just the tensions really increased through all that. Even just in the space of two verses, there's a massive increase in tension, and you're reading it. And if you're stood there, you're listening to it. Uh, as Jesus speaks the story, how does the tension resolve? Shockingly, by saying this man, the tax collector, and not the Pharisee, go home justified. And then if there's any comment after that, it's just tying together the loose ends. And so that's how stories work. Tension created, tension resolved with a little bit before and after, and then uh, the tension building in between. So that's how a story works. And once you see that, you start to see it time and again. And it's not boring. It doesn't make it dull. It makes it a thrill to say, okay, what's going on here? What's the real issue? So as an interpreter, just having that can be really helpful to engage with uh, different narratives.